Hello, in this video I want to show you how Fishbowl works. So we're going to start by walking through the entire Fishbowl platform, uh, seeing the many options and, and then we're going to learn how to create projects, create new events, edit projects and how to make our presentations. And so the first thing is uh, we're going to take a look at the dashboard and see the different features that we have. Starting from the left you can see the menu options. Uh, we have dashboard profile, projects, event pools, and a link to our video tutorial. So the first thing we want to do is I will show you how to create a new project on Pitchbolt. And to create a new project, you can click on create new project, or you can click on projects and click on this plus icon and click on create from text and here we're going to enter the name of the project i am going to call this demo and then i will put in the content of my project and now i am going to add double spaces to indicate the number of slides i want to make by simply creating double spaces between paragraphs i will uh, make pitch bolts understand that in between these and these I want a new slide so I'm going to do that for all of them so now that I've uh, added the spaces in between the next thing I want to do is select a theme and I'm going to go uh, select a restaurant for this project so everything looks good I will click on create project and you can see my project has been created. So now we can see my newly created project, which is uh, called Demo. And to view this project, all I need to do is click on View. All right, so you can see a preview of my newly created project. And I can uh, click to slide and preview all slides of my projects. You can see Pitchbolt automatically adds uh, images to each slide based on the contents of that slide. And then you can see the beautiful design themes behind each slide based on the category that I selected. All right, so uh, the next thing we're going to do is uh, I, I'm going to show you how we can make adjustment to our project or make adjustment to our slides. As you can see, some of the titles are not looking good. I can make adjustment to them or I can add more content to a slide. And to make or edit our slides I'm going to click on this configure icon to launch the Pitchboard editor. All right, so this is our editor. And from here, I can make adjustments to the text. And you can see on the left, I have my different slides all loaded. I can add more slides if I want to. I can move the positions of uh, the slides down or up add a new slide above or even delete the slides i can scroll down slides are still loading um, i can add new slides below if i want to in this case we want to make a little adjustments by editing some of the text okay so i want to edit uh, the content of this slide all I have to do is click on it and here you can see that I can edit text I can change the color or close or clone these or even delete the uh, entire text so in this case I want to make adjustments to this text and I will click inside and make adjustments 
I want to take some of the content off. So we use the backspace. Okay, food substance consumed. All right, everything looks good to me. I want to leave it this way. I also want to make adjustment to the the title. I will call it food. All right. So I'm done with making changes to the slide. And the next thing is to save my changes. So you can see the changes has been saved. Another thing you can do is I can add more components to this slide. I can add bullets, buttons, columns, emails, polls, social media, text, timer, video, and, and lots of it. I can also do a voiceover uh, on this particular slide. So you can make changes to a slide by selecting the slide and making adjustments to it. And when everything is done, you can return by clicking this home icon. So now we're back to our dashboard. Uh, we've created a new project. We've made adjustments to the slides. Uh, the next thing I want to show you is how we can create an event. So the event is the the major thing that you want to share with people. You want to share with the target audience. You want to share with your customers, your clients, uh, or friends. So how do we create an event? We can do that by clicking create new events or we can also come to the event options. All right, I'm going to do that by clicking create new event. And yeah, I will title this event. Uh, let's call this new demo. And I will select the date of the event, 11, 58 p.m. Okay. Then I will select a date. I want it to be on 18th and I will click next. And then I will select the project that I want to assign to this event. So I will select the last project created, which is demo and click done. And then you can see that it has created my event and I'm going to see all. All right, so this is my uh, event. This is my newly created event. I can preview the event. I can uh, view analytics of uh, the event. I can configure this event. I can delete that or copy the event link. I can also share on Facebook or Twitter. Uh, in this case, so we are going to copy the event link and send the event across to our target audience for them to sign up or come online to view our events. And uh, we can also share our event on social media, like I said. So what we're going to do in this case is uh, preview the event and see how we can run the event live. First of all, I'm going to copy the event link and simulate the process of uh, inviting our friends to view the event and see how it works. All right, so here I'm using a private browser to uh, simulate the invitation process. So when you invite your, your friends or target audience or clients to view your events, they will be required to sign up if they don't have an ID to Fishbolt. And if they have an ID, they will log in to view the event. So in this case, I'm going, I'm going to use my ID to sign up just to demonstrate the process. All right, so I just logged in with my ID and you can see the event is loading. And in this case, while this uh, event is loading, I'm also going to launch uh, my event. All right, so now I am going to switch to presentation mode from my projects over here. Okay, so as you can see that uh, my presentation is on and uh, here I can make my presentation live. I can switch to a different slides. And when I'm doing this in real time, my viewers will see the slide changes in real time. They can see my video feed. 
I can enable Q&A for them to ask questions in real time. And when I turn this off, if I go back to the private browser, you can see Q&A is enabled. Here they can ask questions in real time. Hello and submit that. And you can see I can reply questions in real time. And when I switch slides, they will see the slide changes on real time. So if I go to the private browser, you can see that the multiplexing functionality enables viewers to see on real time what is happening. I can share my screen uh, by clicking on share screen option. I can also record this event for playback. So this is uh, this is just how you make presentations in real time, enabling uh, Q and A, uh, switching video, or sharing your video, or sharing your screen, and also uh, recording uh, your videos. All right. So I'm going to return to the dashboard. Now we've seen how to create projects, we've seen how to create events, um, and also display our events. One thing I want to show you is uh, how we can add polls to our events so we can get um, we can get we can uh, get data or feedback from our target audience in real time. Polls enable us to help us to uh, you know, do a survey in real time to get feedback from our viewers. In this case, how do we create a new poll and add it to our project? And uh, it's simple, you click on polls and then I'm going to add a new poll. You can see I already have two. I'm going to add a new one and I will call this new demo. Click on done. Alright, so this is my new demo and I'm going to make changes to it and I'm going to add a new question. So let's call this, uh, let's say, do you know which boat? Alright, so this is a yes or no question. Let me add another one. What do you like the most? about which boat. Uh, this is not a yes or no question, so in this case I'm going to make adjustments and I'll say I like the, the project creation. creation. Say I like the real-time functionality. I'm going to add another one and say I like the pose. All right. So this is simply how you can add questions, uh, create new polls, and when you're done, you just save those changes. And now to add this to my slide, this can be on a particular slide, or you can put this on every slide in your project. All you do is copy the poll ID and go back to the project. So in this case, I want to add that uh, pool that I created to this project. I will click on configure to launch the pitch board. And All right, let's say I, I want to add the, my pool to this particular slide. Uh, what I will do is click on add component and add pool. And then I will be required to paste the pool ID inside here and you paste the pool id here and save that's it you just add all right so now that we've had a walkthrough on the pitchboard platform we've seen how to create projects how to create events and also add goals to our slides uh, if you want to learn more about uh, how to use these features uh, and how to use pitchboards you can click on the third link to view some of our videos and how to use the visual platform. That's pretty much it for this demo. Uh, thanks for watching and goodbye.